Hey guys, Kate here with Jamberry Nails to show you how to apply your nail wraps. Some of the things that you're going to need are your mini heater or a blow dryer, your nail wraps, a buffer, nail clippers, nail scissors, a cuticle pusher, and an alcohol swab. The first thing that you want to do is you want to take a nail brush and you want to wash your hands with dish soap and give them a good scrub so that you get all the oils off of your nails. Um, oils are really good for our cuticles, but when we apply the jamberries, we don't want your nails to have oils on them because that can affect the application. So make sure they're nice and clean and dry. Another way to help that is to always have alcohol with you. Um, when you're applying them. So you can really get your nails nice and clean um, and free of oil. So you're going to turn your mini heater on, get that warmed up, and you're going to take your sheet and you're going to find the right fit for your nail. So as you can see, there's all different sizes. And I'm just going to do one nail for the sake of time. And I'm going to put them on and just see which one would fit best. Now, some of them are obviously going to be way too big. Some of them might be just a tad bit too small, and that's the one that you'd want to go with. If it's not a perfect fit, you'd want it to be a little bit too small rather than too big. If it's too big and it sticks to your cuticle or your finger, you're not going to get a good application and they'll peel up really quickly. So I found the wrap that fits perfect for my nail. And I'm going to peel up the side and I'm going to try really hard not to touch the wrap. Um, again, because that oils from your fingertips, the oils from your nails can affect the application. So I have it peeled up. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the jam in half. And I'm going to touch this end because I'm going to be cutting this end off so it's okay to touch it. Now you're going to want to heat up your nail and the wrap. Um, you don't have to heat up both. I like to. I just like to get them really warm. Now as you can see, the nail wrap is curving. And that's what you want. You want it to be nice and curved. And get it nice and hot. Just don't burn yourself. You don't want to do that. Once you get it nice and hot and your nail is clean, you're going to apply the wrap and you can stretch it. If it's not a perfect fit, you can stretch it down over your nail to get a nice, perfect fit. I love to take my cuticle pusher and I heat that up along with my nail. And then I just push it down into my nail and it works out any of the bubbles that I have in my nail. And I really get a good, solid seal on my wrap. And again, heat is your best friend when applying it. So you just want to make sure that you keep heating up your nail or your cuticle stick and really pushing it down to get a nice, good application. Now I have my nail. I have my jamberry on my nail, and as you can see, I have a lot of extra. So all I do is I take a pair of nail clippers, and I just cut right at the top of my nail and you get a nice, solid jamberry wrap on your nail. It can be really difficult and frustrating at first to put your jamberry nail wraps on. Um, a lot of people are perfectionists and they have to be absolutely perfect. Um, I am not one of them, but I do like a really good, solid wrap on my nail. And practice makes perfect just like anything else. So um, take your time. When you put them on, don't get frustrated. I promise you it'll all be worth it once you get used to putting them on. And think about how much money you're going to save by not going to the salon. I'm not inhaling any chemicals right now applying them. And my nail's dry. I'm ready to go. If something happens, I can get up and go take care of it and not worry about ruining this nail. And I can come back and do my other ones later. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Check out my link below.